What's up legends? Welcome back to another video. I am super excited for this one today. Uh, we're seeing something really, really rare, really, really special as you've definitely seen already in the thumbnail. It's also pretty wacky looking. This is actually a privately owned boat. It looks like an army boat that is a privately owned super yacht. Anywho, I am with Axel from Tech Art today. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. Who has very kindly brought the latest, greatest, wild um, creation from Stuttgart, from Tech Art, the 992 GT Street R. This thing, well, I mean, it just looks insane. And then we're gonna be able to drive it. We're gonna tour the exterior first, tour the interior, and then I'm gonna be able to go for a drive and give you my impressions. This is pretty special. You've been with Tech Art for a long time. And yeah, I mean, Tech Art is a fascinating brand. It started way back in, what year was it? Uh, 1987. 87, yeah. And uh, I'm by Tech Art since uh, 21 years. Oh, wow. And, okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm in charge of uh, Europe and Africa. Okay. And I'm coming uh, directly from Stuttgart with that uh, fantastic uh, GT3 R. Uh, like yeah, thank you huh, for coming to to show it to me and I have been a fan of Tech Art for a very long time. I think they're fantastic. You guys have always stayed true to what you're, you're best at, so uh, Porsches. So you've always remained within the Porsche realm and staying true to Porsche, the ethos of Porsche. And I think the design is fantastic, which is why the followers have maybe seen recently, I actually put a set of Tech Art rims on my 991.2 Turbo S, but there's a lot more coming. You know, and I know I what's know. coming, but yeah, there's a lot more on the way and I'm really excited. And so kind of to celebrate this, you have very kindly brought this GT Street R for me to have a look at. And what a beast it is. This is the most extreme version of what you guys are doing on the 992 Turbo platform, correct? Yes, correct. We are working only on Porsche vehicles. Uh, TechArt is located in Stuttgart in Germany. We yep. have our own uh, workshop, our laser workshop, our carbon production line because all the carbon parts you can see on the car are produced by TechArt. Oh, wow. It's not a supplier, we do it ourselves. So we are around about 80 employees by TechArt and um, all around Porsche, only Porsche. Wow. Yeah, and the quality of the work is amazing because you want to stay true to the quality of Porsche, which is a, 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 no easy feat because Porsche is as good as it gets really but um, I mean the carbon one thing which I thought was really interesting just we'll show this quickly is the quality of the carbon you guys supply so this roof right here is the original from Porsche factory carbon fiber roof that has not been changed and this little winglet is the Tecart winglet so this carbon you can see it even the weave lines up but there is no difference in the weave and the quality of this piece compared to the roof. So seeing those side by side, there is no kind of bigger proof of the quality of the work. So I found that fascinating. And let's have a look around this thing because, yeah, these are really, really special. So there's lots to talk about. So on the front, uh, nothing original anymore. It means it has been changed totally uh, with some take out parts. It means we have a complete new take-out front bumper with some uh, carbon panel. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty, it's beastly because usually this comes for some weird reason from Porsche in plastic. I don't quite understand why they, they didn't do it from factory, but you guys doing this is a must. I think it looks fantastic. And that goes all the way around and even look at the logo engraved into the front bumper. Awesome looking. Uh, carbon bonnet you see it's, yeah. it's a new shape yeah it's got it's got these these uh, bumps these air shaped by the air I mean they're not just aesthetic those are shaped by the air and then these two air exits um, which are very similar to the ones that I find on the new GT3 uh, yes correct but take out uh, made it first no way yes, really. but you have a tendency of doing that because the rims that I've got on my 991, which are different to these ones, um, were developed for the 991, and then when the 992 came out, they were exactly the same ones. So you guys did those that design first. Yes, yeah, correct. And then these new ones, I mean, while we're talking about the rims, are amazing, and they're also extremely light, I believe. 
Yes, it's four wheels, 8.2 kilo of the wheel. Oh, wow. So very, uh, it's a technology. Uh, yeah, wheel. and you still got the center locks. Um, on those which which look good um, and then loads of other details like all of this being carbon we have a complete uh, new carbon fenders uh, some uh, carbon fins and as you can see the Tecart uh, fender yeah. extensions in carbon so we make the car uh, a bit wider on the front axle and on the, on the rear also okay yes yeah yeah it is it's quite a bit wider you can see it right there it adds this kind of beastly look and this is very reminiscent of course of GT3 RS's and we have some uh, new mirror Oh yes a complete new design Yeah a lot more kind of pointy to punch a hole into the air Yeah Okay Some uh, new Tecart carbon side skirts mm -hmm. Even with the Tecart logo Oh yeah Look at that Little detail Awesome It's a new carbon air duct Okay, which is just a little beefier and it's got this added winglet, yeah, correct? More, more air. Yeah, so that comes out more, okay. Oh, the, the fender extensions as well on the rear, which you yeah, can see right. there, look great. Okay. And a big new rear bumper with a central exhaust system. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge it's piece, the okay. The original exhaust pipes are... Uh, yeah, on the side. side. Now you have a big center exhaust system and the sound is really crazy. Yeah, I mean it was definitely missing the extra sound. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to be... It's still uh, an exhaust system with a valve control so you can uh, still drive with a quiet sound or you make it loud uh, if you want to go a little bit on the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Wow. It's uh, okay. It looks great. Oh yeah, got the wing. Big rear wing. Huge rear wing. Yes, correct. <laughs> But this, uh, yeah, it's all carbon and the, the aerodynamics, I mean, the, the amount of downforce this will give to the rear. Yes, correct. Uh, the downforce has been uh, developed also in the wind tunnel. So okay. uh, we make not only uh, for the aesthetic, but also for the functionality. Yeah. And speaking of functionality, you keep all the original functionalities of the electronics in the car. So when you go into sport mode, this was the, it is the same on my one, um, you go into sport plus I believe, uh, the wing comes up at the back and there's these little uh, flaps which come down under the front bumper and so this is currently in its raised position and is linked directly to the button inside so you don't lose that functionality. Everything works, correct? Correct. As Let it me would. Show you. Yeah, 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 of course, let's do it. So everything works as it would, you know, even for example the PASM um, suspension, sports suspension, still works with the button. So it all goes through the screen now on the 992. It's no longer physical buttons, which was one of the big changes. But the spoiler, so you just press it there, and you see, that goes right back down. Or back up. And then you've almost got this like triple layer looking wheel, uh, wing. And there's even air vents. In included in the wing, which is a really nice, uh, really nice detail. Engine cover again with the yes, engraved uh, Tecart logo, and then the little wing lid above there, which we saw earlier. And it doesn't end here because you have your own shop, right? Workshop, interior workshop. Uh, yes, we have our own leather workshop, our saddlery. Uh, it means we can build all the interior a la carte. Yeah. Like the French people say. Yeah. And here we use some uh, carbon and some leather with a yellow stitching. Oh yes, it's, it's beautiful. We are using also the pe pepita stuff. Yeah. And uh, like like in the good old days. Yes. Going like, back, uh, yeah. The 930 turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. And also, I mean, having all the Alcantara, you can't get this on turbos. Usually, it's fixed to leather. Alcantara is reserved more for the GT products. But having this on the turbos is really cool. And this and yes. may look like it's from the factory, but you've added it yourselves, right? Yes, right. We have the uh, carbon uh, door trim line, even yeah. with the grip. And then uh, on the dashboard, oh, yes. and yeah. the cons middle console. Yeah, on the, the center console, it's all there. Carbon also. Oh, yeah. See, all of this again <laughs> should in my mind be factory but it's so good that you guys are here doing it and delivering it in exactly the same weave and quality as you would from factory so everything that you feel like could be missing in your 911 you guys are there basically to supply it yeah and then yeah, these cool. steering wheels that you yeah, guys do it's are a legendary. Sport steering wheel. It's a uh, it's a uh, seeker and more economic and it's flat on the bottom. Yes exactly 
Yeah, and the, yeah, it is much thicker, isn't it? Look at that. Um, but it makes it probably more dynamic. Yeah, it's like BMW M's have those really thick wheels, and it feels really nice. So you got Alcantara, and then you got this. Uh, I don't know the name of the shape in English, but in French it's damier. It's like the uh, the racing flag kind of uh, uh, layout, which looks really cool. And that's also on these seats, which are quite something. So you've obviously got the traditional look, but then you got Alcantara, the GT Street R logo and a nice touch of the 87 right here because of course the company was founded in 1987 and this GT Street R992 is limited to 87 in the world. This one is the first. And one last thing that I've just noticed as well, really nice touch, are these fully aluminium pedals, right? Yes. Yeah, really cool looking as well. God, they're so... the options list, I mean, I obviously had a look through it for, for mine. The options list is endless. Basically, if you can dream it, they will make it. And it looks fantastic. But now, all I want to do is have a drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Let's do this. Here we go. GT Street R, number one of 87 in the world. 800 horsepower. Start up, and you know what? We're not messing around. Straight into sport mode. Wow. Yeah, because it opens the valves back there and sounds absolutely incredible. Okay, we're going down on the little shifter into drive. The little shifter where you can no longer change gear, actually, before you could put it in manual and change down yeah. there. But that's from Porsche, that's not you guys. Um, but it is a little bit of a shame because I did quite enjoy using that. Anyways, okay, it feels good being back in a turbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, exactly, it's amazing. Oh, the, the 992 interiors, they really did take a step up, I mean, it's so different. It's a big change. Yes, but here you can see we have a full Descartes uh, leather interior because yeah. we have our own leather workshop in uh, Stuttgart. Yeah. And uh, near the Porsche factory, we are 10 kilometers away from the Porsche factory. And here we have our own uh, employees and they are able so to... So you can do anything, really. We can do it's everything. Limitless. We built it like the French people say, à la carte. Yes. So you can choose all the material you want, leather, Alcantara, carbon, as you want. And there are so many pieces that you guys have added, which you look at and you go, why, why was this almost not done from the factory? I mean, it's great for you guys that it wasn't, oh, of but... Of course, it's better for us. Yeah, but it's so good and it looks so factory spec. I mean, you really need to know your Porsches to know that, okay, well, oh, that's a you know, tech up piece because it's the same weave, it's the same quality finish um, as you would get from factory, if not better, so yeah. Four wheel drive, so we can put the power down. Yes. Woo! That noise. Beast. Yeah, water beast. I mean, we are on slicks on a slightly wet surface. Yes. So this isn't where we're gonna feel the, the full power because the acceleration is crazy on this thing, right? Yes, and of course with uh, slick tires, when yeah. it's dry, then you have really a lot of grip. Yeah, and you're talking zero to 60 in two and from, a half? Yes, uh, 2.5 seconds from zero to 100 km per hour, 8.2 seconds to 200, and uh, to 300 under the 20 seconds, it's 19.9 .9 seconds. That and is the outrageous. Speed, uh, um, the top speed we are by uh, 360 km per hour, but limited. Okay, <laughs> limited, just in case you wanted to go faster. Woo! Little acceleration, but you know what? It feels very communicative because these are new turbos, right? You've, you've made these turbos, but they communicate to you, okay, the power is coming. It doesn't just arrive all of a sudden. Yes, and this turbocharger yes, has been totally developed by Techart and uh, it's electronic too. Of course, com combined with a Techart smart exhaust system, with the middle uh, pipes, yeah. you, you feel really the difference. Oh, yes. I, yeah, well, we just did just then. I mean, geez, this thing is fast. Look at this. And it puts the power down. Wow. Yes. And the carbon composite brakes. Feel incredible still. Wow. These are the the original brakes, you haven't touched the brakes, right? Yes, these are the original Porsche brakes, there is no much better on yeah. the market actually. It's so the best there is, so best, might best as well keep no it. No need yeah. to change them. Yeah. Wow, but I tell you, the power, 
is unbelievable. A thousand newton meters of torque. Yes, right. And you so, can still uh, move the car uh, every day, like uh, yeah. a standard car. So yeah, that's that's the pretty unbelievable thing. It feels so well built and complete. So even in the way it drives, the best way. You can get in a lot of trouble in this because it puts its power down. There's something about four-wheel drive Porsches that put the power down unbelievably. So you can have a, a, a more powerful rear-wheel drive from another brand um, and it won't accelerate as hard. So like a 600 horsepower turbo is going to blitz basically anything else. So imagine, guys, an 800 horsepower, 1000 newton meter four-wheel drive turbo on slicks. Wrap your head around that, and 2.5 seconds to zero to 100, to, yes. to me, is almost like an understatement. It feels like it could do it in two point, I mean, I don't know, 2.2 2 or whatever. It's real 2.5 seconds. It has yeah. been measured with the GPS, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's real. Yeah, I mean, it is so cool. And it, the best way I can think of describing this is that it feels like a a Porsche, a 911, a turbo in this case, but just like turned up to 12. So, you know, you still get all the good sides of a 911 in terms of its usability, um, in terms of the warranty, because it comes with a warranty. Yes. There is a take out uh, uh, warranty for all the car, yeah. for the whole car, for the engine, the transmission, but even uh, uh, your sunroof and everything. We take over all the Porsche warranty on the take out. Okay. So if something happens, take out is here to help you if anything happens. Exactly. So there's there's kind of just no downside to it. I mean, yeah, you get the warranty, you get the usability, because if I now put it, there you go, start, stop. It's, it, it, it's completely usable. It doesn't feel, I was wondering if it would feel really wide because it's been widened a little bit, but it feels, I drove it a little bit in town just before this and um, it wasn't intimidating to drive. You still get the great visibility. The only difference here is you ha do have a wing in the rear view, but that looks cool and a big one. Um, but you get, you know, the great visibility on each side, in front of you, around you. Um, the, the 911 body is not, you know, such a big imposing body. So you get the benefits of a turbo, of a 911, but really just turned up to 12. Like I said, the, the carbon details inside, the fit and finish on the seats, it feels factory. It doesn't, sometimes you'll get in, you know, and and the engine will be making some weird noises and you never know quite how it's no, gonna react. No, it's okay. The inside feels like it could fall to pieces or whatever. This feels like, um, you know, just as if Porsche themselves almost just made a car and said, well, let's go crazy with it. And you guys have gone and done it and it, yeah, I mean, I think that's almost the biggest compliment you can give because yes, I'm crying. It, it's, it's just, a, it's a sensational bit of kit. And 87, I have no doubt the 87 are gonna go quickly. Um, I'm gonna put all the links down below just in case someone else feels like getting their hands on one because I think there are a couple left, but yeah, so cool to have such a limited. I mean, imagine if Porsche themselves made this and limited it to 87. They'd cost millions. <laughs> they would cost millions. So I know they're hugely expensive, right? Because the, the price tag on one of these is north of 400,000 euros. Um, if you're counting the um, the, 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 if you're going brand new, let's say, the brand new 911 Turbo plus the kit, right? Yes, right. Um, so, it, obviously, it, it's a pretty heavy price tag, but I think it's but well you worth it. have a super it. car, you know, for that price. Oh my God, yeah. And you also have such a limited piece of kit and, you know, Tech Art is such, such a recognizable name now. Um, yeah, it is, it's fantastic. Really, really well done. And, like, God, is it is fast. It will rip your eyes out of your skull. It is so fast. And just sat here in traffic, I mean, yeah, it's a 911. That's the beauty of it. Made by Tech Art. Yeah, and it's not it's stripped out. And even just like the, having the Alcantara and all these things around, it just makes it feel more special as well. And these are things that you can't get. So, okay, let me put it this way. The turbo when I drove it, the 992, and mine at first, which is why I'm putting Tech Art and why I have an mm. exhaust. It, it's an amazing car, but it wasn't really the car that makes you want, want to wake up in the morning 
and just go for a drive for the sake of it. It, it you know, wasn't necessarily the car that excited me the most. Whereas I think once you've done these things, once you're, 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 you've added these things that were maybe arguably missing from factory, it becomes that. So, um, you know, it, it suddenly becomes, it gives a whole new character and that exciting side to the car that you maybe didn't have before. You make more individual, you know, you make yeah. uh, with the tech art uh, features on it. It's, yeah. Um, we, we have a slogan, it's uh, level up your, your Porsche. Yeah. Um, you, with a Porsche, it's already something great, but with a tech art, you can have something much better. Yeah, even better. The, the, the other cars that I felt that way for was sometimes with McLaren with like the I remember when I drove the 650S, I was like, I, I respect this car so much. And then I drove the 675 LT and I was like, ah, this is what it should always have been almost, you know? So it almost feels that way with this, you know? This is the 675 LT to the 650S right. kind of thing. Just it happens to be by you guys and not by Porsche themselves. So yeah, it's a really, really, really fascinating kind of world to get involved with because it's it's modifying and modifications in a way which is just so quality and so complete i mean the warranty is just such an important thing because that's such a big barrier of entry to a lot of people i mean i know to me i still have the warranty on my porsche and you don't want to do anything that's going to affect that because if something happens to the car so being able to continue that is um is pretty fantastic and it just makes me so excited for mine now And I'm all, I, you know, I'm thinking for now, all we're doing to the car is aesthetics. But after driving this, I'm like, oh, <laughs> would it? Maybe something is missing. Yeah, too. maybe <laughs> something's missing. I mean, it's already so brutal, the, the standard car. But yeah, Tech Art GT Street R, absolute beast. Off it goes. What a beast. Axel's already outside. Guys, that, yeah, we're, we're right back where we started. That, yeah, it's something else. I am very, very impressed. Axel, thank you. Thank you so much. For letting me try this out. Oh, an animal, an animal. I really, really am very excited now to see the pieces on my car. And as I say, if you have a 911 and you're looking to push it to the next level, I mean, this is just a fantastic option for you. So thank you, TechArt, as well, to anyone watching from TechArt Germany, because It's been exceptional to, to drive your last uh, masterpiece. Thank you for watching the video as well. It's always, you know, yeah, so nice to have your support. So leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be back with plenty more of this kind of stuff very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.